Ah, New Year. That moment we are all waiting for. Three months and hopefully this nightmare is over. In the meantime, why don't we review a Halloween slash New Year movie? That's right, the sequel of Mighty Mighty Monsters Halloween Havoc, Mighty Mighty Monsters in New Fierce Eve. Last week I uploaded a review for the first movie of the Mighty Mighty Monsters trilogy. Go watch the videos on that playlist since you don't know what I'm talking about. You'll get a better understanding if you watch those. But now, let's check out Mighty Mighty Monsters in New Fierce Eve. The movie begins with a recap from the first film. Previously on Mighty Mighty Monsters. Then we get into the shot of the monsters walking back to monster school because they have been invited to the New Year's party. Also, the teacher doesn't want them to cause any trouble in human school in the New Year's show. You see, the teacher has this plan of making the greatest show ever. And he even buys a weird machine to measure if people are having fun. And apparently, if it gets all the way to the top, he will become famous. When the monsters finally get into monster school, Edward and Jacob from Twilight don't let him in because they need a date or something to get in. Well, Frankie enters because Candita is his date, but Vlad and Gunner are stuck there. We get an amazing scene where Vlad dances like Michael Jackson. Then we cut into human school just to meet Destiny, one of the most annoying characters I have ever seen. It's New Year's Eve, and I'm Destiny. You're going to have a great time kissing me. She wants to be a pop star, she wants to show off, but she sucks. Then we cut back to Monster School, where Frankie gets a date for Goner and Blood stays outside. We get a very funny montage of Vlad trying to get in the party with his many talents, but he is unable to. The teacher calls Vlad and tells him, I need your help, come back to Monster School and steal the show, you'll be famous. Just when Frankie got Vlad a date, he tells him to get back into school. The point is that the teacher wants to create chaos which apparently the audience likes, so he invited the monsters over and they make a deal. If they participate, he will send them back to Monster School. They get on with the show and Frankie is instantly loved by everyone. Then he even gets a makeover which Blood ruins. Blood is, for me, the main character this time. He wants to show off and be liked by everyone. But Frankie is just outshines him because he wants to go back to Monster School. So Blood starts dancing and doing weird stuff. So everything starts getting out of control just like the teacher wanted and the show is about to be a hit. But Destiny gets jealous and gets them out of the show. Then Calzone and Rooney try getting on with the show, but it just doesn't work. Slowly hauls the playground and the bathroom stall. I search out all the true intent and I sniff out all the freaks. A room book in my hand beside me this Italian man. Calzone! We get a weird commercial while Destiny goes backstage and the teacher asks her to go search for the monsters again. They are just hanging out in the hallways when Destiny gets them under attack. Then they hide but Vlad and Frankie start arguing and Frankie goes away. Then he's kidnapped. Vlad is so upset that he doesn't care about Frankie and keeps walking around and we get the best sequence in the movie. In a very symbolic way, a lot of ghost heads start following him around and tormenting him. He ends up entering a shady room with a mirror. He gets a conversation with his mirrored self and figures out what is he wrong about. He's wrong about putting fame and himself over friends that need him. I love this part of the movie. We get to know a lot more about Vlad and his persona. Well, he goes to find his friends to save him and Destiny starts singing creepily about kissing Frankie when the timer goes off. Vlad and Gunnery get just in time to save Frankie, but Destiny being the crazy weird girl that she is, goes for the kiss. Vlad jumps in an attempt to save Frankie for the fate, but he ends up kissing Destiny. 
And guys, I'm not joking, this next scene was one of the weirdest things I have ever seen. Vlad has this weird off-body experience where he fantasizes about destiny. Ugh, here, just look at it. Okay, whatever. Call me later, babe. We snap back to reality and the scene runs away. The teacher gets in the scene to congratulate the monsters and send them back to monster school as he promised. Sorry, boys, but no one leaves school tonight. Wait. What? No, if I sell show, you go home. Mr. Fruity Tooty Pants here, he chased people away. <laughs> show is now dead and... You stay here. Dude, you are really just... just the worst. Remember that room where Vlad hid earlier? Well, this place is introduced to the crew and they decide to make this place their new layer. Final shot, the credits roll, new Eve is over. Vampires rule, yes they do. Vampires rule, you know it's true. Okay, boys, do it now. Ten four. Let's see what you got, Calzone. A pomodoro. Vampires rule. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> it's time to give my point of view about this film. Honestly, I liked it a lot. We can really get more invested in the characters overall in Vlad, as I said earlier. That is kind of the main character in here. We see him dream, fail, learn, and evolve throughout the film. And that is something I really liked. I honestly really enjoyed that. I think the first movie is really good for setting the tone of the trilogy and introducing us to this world. And this second film really delivers in what I was expecting this trilogy to be. A bunch of explosive monsters that need to fit in human school, and without even noticing, they start learning stuff and growing as characters. The animation, I don't know why, but it felt more refined this time. We also get a lot of funny moments here too, so overall this film is really enjoyable. I don't have any idea of how the next film is going to be, but I'm hoping uh, to see something great. I really recommend watching this film, it is really hard to find, so I hope they get picked up by a streaming service sometime. I just have one big complaint. Where is the king? Where is Reginald? I need Reginald! Hopefully he comes back in the next film. I'm looking at you, Bronze Studios. Okay, the end. Goodbye. So that was it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to stay tuned. In the next video, we're going to be reviewing the last part of this trilogy, Mighty Mighty Monsters Pranks for the Memories. Share this video with a friend to support my channel and let me know in the comments down below what did you thought about this review. Thanks so much for watching and see you all in the next video.